Hello friends of Software Entertainment. Today I will show you how you can provide a custom trick function to your Symfony Framework application. I will show you this best practice example in a Symfony full stack content management system called Sulu CMS. In this video you will learn about an actual use case that you provide a playlist ID to the YouTube API and get all the items back from it. After the coding, I will show you the full example on my open source project on GitHub. And after this, I will also show you the best practice example from the Sulu CMS core team. So have a lot of fun after the intro. My name is Roland from Never Code Alone and I provide here on this channel a lot of videos about the Sulu CMS, my work with the Symfony framework and a lot of tool handling what I need as a developer. So follow this channel, this would be very good. Okay, now let's dive into the topic. Now we are here on my nevercodealone.de page, what is a Sulu CMS page and I want to have an own page for the team D Web Sprinter. On this page you have this little feature that you can provide a playlist ID and get from the YouTube API all the videos here. And this is what I want to actually do here on this project now. So you will see all my steps how to implement it. Let's start from the terminal as a normal work. I will say git chat guard branch. And here we go. Now we can just say ddev start because every project I do here on my local environment is set up with ddev. So I have here directly an URL and we will see it here on our front end. So for now, this is the tryout with Tailwind. And I'm not the best front-end developer, but I'm going forward with it. That's not the playground for today, but I will show you here some videos if you want to see my Tailwind tryouts. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to open our project. The Sulu CMS is a Symfony Framework full-stack CMS, so you can have just your normal symphony framework structure here and everything is working as in the symphony framework so this video here is for both target groups the symphony developer and the sulu developer we just go to the source folder and we'll add here a new folder called trick And in this folder, we will add a new class here and we call this YouTube Trick Extension. We will see here our namespace app trick and just add this to here. The next step here is that we need to extend the abstract extension. And now we can just start to write our example for our YouTube service. So we have here something like this. Public function get YouTube videos from channel ID and we have to bring here a channel ID and after this we have here a little spelling 
issue but after this we have here something like a return of an array and in this array there are some titles video one video two and so on this is now here anything i need to provide this example the next thing what is the important thing here is that we have a function that will return our function to trick we have here an example in our drop down we can remove this line here and say return array with new twig function and here now we have our name for the function the method name and here we have an array with dollar this and the name of our function here so this is a little mapping maybe it's better practice to use here the same key and our work is finished now a little thing about the sulu cms because i want to provide a playlist id for the editors and we'll bring this id here to our function and render this with this method to our front end we have here configuration templates includes blocks and now here is a hero element and i want to have here some youtube playlist so just add a file YouTube playlist dot XML and now I will have here some very nice live templates here is also linked video to my live templating session and we will use here the same name you will see that it also write it here to our default type and type now we have here our playlist youtube playlist this is a drop down on the cms and we have here two properties i will say a headline and just a string with the playlist id And we say to the editor, please give me the playlist ID. So far, this is a whole configuration for the backend. 
And now the thing is to render this to the front end. You have here our templates, blocks, and say here, new file. Playlist, it's YouTube. Dot HTML dot twig. And now on this file, we just want to render those items here. So we have to bring the items on a variable. Set videos. And then we have here our new function, what it was called like this here. And we will enter here our string from the editor. Maybe we can give this back to the front end to see that we have it later. Content dot and after that we will render our videos. just in a list so far so good and now we can say that we also want to give our channel ID as third video. Okay. Now we just can say, please clear the cache because we have now a full new item we forget something we have to bring this also to our backend here then we can say we log in here admin admin so i'm logged in go to our page here and we have here this blocks and now i will have here a new block called youtube playlist and on this youtube playlist i just say my headline I've forgotten to render it in the front end, but this is not the problem. And we have this playlist idea here, something like this. And I will save this. And now you see here in the preview that we have a problem with our Twig template, but you see here that it's already working. So I just can say, give me the front end here. And we will see that this is working. And now for the completion, we just can say, okay, give me also please the headline here. It's something like this, H2. 
and so now here it is content dot headline and when i will re-render the front end we have here also our headline so as you see how simple it is to bring a own function to your front end okay now let's see how we do the whole thing with the google api when you check here github.com you will have here our never code alone public overview about our projects and you have here our cms symphony sudo you can download it just to your local system and bring php storm on it and you can jump then to directly to all those services the main thing is that you have here source twig and you have here this youtube twig extension and here you have a youtube service and some other things and we have here those get functions with youtube and we have here now our youtube service get items from channel and you see here how this will work when you have any questions just comment it here and also another thing where you can see how we can do best practice for our Twig extension is this project here, sulu.rocks. And in sulu.rocks, you have also a published repository, what has all the actual stuff from the Sulu core team. And here you also see source twig and the custom function with country and the last thing and beautiful documentation is also just symphony.com twig extension and you see here how to write a custom extension also with filters so you have here a twig filter what you can do by a pipe or our function example what is already here so hopefully you have enjoyed this video here's another video what is really good for you and here's also the playlist with all parts of the Sulu CMS developing. <clears throat> Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Bye.